Now let's take a look at the pandas section of the exam. Okay, so we're dealing with the same three tables as we were in the previous SQL question, animals, doctors, and visits. Okay, so 12a asks us to evaluate this expression where we're filtering from the doctor's table only the doctors whose name are Dre, which is that um, record. We're taking only the doctor ID column. We're merging it with visits, okay? So we'll merge automatically based off of doctor ID. So we'll merge with just the record I just highlighted because that's the only one in visits where the doctor ID is too. And then we're gonna merge that with animals, okay? And so notice here, the animal ID is two, so we're gonna merge this with the corresponding row in animals, okay? And we want the name of this animal, right? And uh, the name of the first animal that satisfies this, but in, it turns out that there's only one resulting row in the, after this double merge, okay? And that will correspond to care the bear, so its name is care, okay? And again, why there's only one row? Well, that's because when we merge doctors with visits, um, where the doctor's name is Dre, um, there's only one match between doctor ID being equal to two between the two um, tables, and that's just when doctor ID is equal to two, which is the last row of visits. And then we merge that with animals. There's only one instance um, in the animals table where the animal ID is equal to two. Okay, so that's how we get the result is care. In part B, we're asked um, to find the length of the resulting table. Um, we get when we merge animals with visits on the animal ID, um, grouping by the color and taking the average age. Okay, and so um, we're doing implicitly a inner join, right? So we're joining animals and visits grouping by color. Um, the fact that we're taking the age column and taking the mean don't really change the length of this result. So really our output will only contain um, one row for each type of animal that actually went to the doctor. Okay, and so you notice animal ID three never appears in the visits um, table, right? Meaning that no cat ever went to the doctor. So the only types of animals that went to the doctor were rabbits and bears. Therefore, the length of this resulting um, table will be two. Okay, now um, what we're looking at is um, grouping the visits table by doctor ID, right? So um, we'll have, you know, zero and then something, one and then something, two and then something, and then three and then something. Filtering out um, only the doctors who saw more than one patient, right? And there was only one doctor that saw more than one patient, which was Dr. Bailey with ID three. And we're merging that with animals on the animal ID um, column, and we want the names of those animals. So really what we want is the name of animal zero and the animal two, which are the only animals that were seen by doctors who saw more than one patient, okay? And what are animals zero and two? Well, they're bugs and care. So our result is a list of bugs and care. Cool. D, we want a list of the result when we merge the animals table with visits, but now we're doing an outer merge instead of an inner merge. So that means um, the animal with ID three, so Grumpy the cat, notice he did not um, visit the doctor at all, right? Because there's no animal IDs equal to two in the visits table, right? And we're grouping by animal ID. So again, we'll have zero then something, one then something, two then something, and then three then something. And our aggregate function, or sorry, not aggregate function, um, we're filtering only the animals who's um, visited the doctors more than zero times. Okay, so all the doctors who, or all the animals, sorry, who visited exactly zero times, we're filtering um, only those. Okay, so notice animal three 
Grumpy the cat never visited the doctor, right? So that means when we say G at VID, since we're doing an outer join, um, the corresponding value for VID will be null because Grumpy did not appear in the visits table. So when we drop the null values, there will be no values in um, G, the VID column. So when we drop the null values, um, the length of that list will be zero. And so the name will be a list of just the single animal who did not go to the doctor any number of times, which was Grumpy. Okay, and so again, to reiterate, is the names of animals who never visited the doctor. I know that was a little unclear at the beginning, but hopefully it's a little clear now. D is asking for the names of the animals who never visited the doctor. In our case, that's just Grumpy, okay, even though he's 75 years old. Okay, now um, in 13, we're given the taxi underscore df data frame containing taxi trips in new york city we can assume there are no missing values and that duration is measured in seconds okay so that will end up being important so in a we're asked which of the following lines returns a data frame containing only the rides with the duration less than three hours okay so um we can get rid of option two because that doesn't follow proper pandas conditional syntax right set index that's not exactly what we're trying to do also option three doesn't follow the proper panda syntax for selection and now it's between option one and option four right and we know we want only the rides with durations less than three hours but since duration is measured measured in seconds we have to convert three hours to three times 60 times 60 seconds right and so that means the correct option is the fourth one because the first one is saying less than three, but that's really three seconds, and we want three hours. Okay, so now for the last part of the pandas section, um, we want we would like to know the average duration for each passenger count and for each vendor ID, excluding the vendor ID passenger count pairs for which there are less than ten records. Right, so we want to determine which of the following data frames return, or which of the following. Um, sets of code return this data frame so right off the bat we can get rid of option three because when it filters it only keeps the pairs that have less than 10 records whereas we want to be keeping the ones with 10 or more records because right? filtering only keeps the rows that satisfy um, whatever the boolean is in whatever the function is inside of the filter okay so we get rid of the third option we can also get rid of the second option because it only groups by passenger count, but we we want to group by vendor ID and passenger count. Okay, so now we're between option one and option four, and it turns out the correct one is option one. And the reason for that is right here, x dot shape one versus x dot shape zero. It turns out the um, doing dot mean and doing dot ag duration colon mean both do the same thing in this case because the only um, numerical column that's left is duration, but doing x dot shape one on a list will actually give you an error, or even on a pd dot series that will give you an error, right? Whereas um, uh, if you do it um, x dot shape zero, it will tell you the number of elements in that row, okay, or a number of elements in that series. Okay, so the one we want to do is x dot shape zero. You can try it out on your own. If you pass in a series and try and do dot shape one, it will give you an error. So the correct option is the fourth one.